Good evening and Kimna Hashiv, Falcha, and welcome to the 11th year of Rejig Music and Dance Festival, the online edition. My name is Patricia Murray, and I am one of the organizers of this volunteer led festival featuring new trad style musicians and dancers from here on the East Coast and around the world. In a normal year, our festival is a series of workshops and evening concerts held in beautiful downtown Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. And as you can tell, we're doing things differently this year as we follow the trend of bringing you a virtual version of our festival due to the outbreak of COVID-19. Tonight's concert will feature the amazing talent of Scotland's Jen Butterworth. Before I introduce our performer for this evening's concert, I would like to take a moment to acknowledge that we, as present settlers in Nova Scotia, are on the traditional territory of the Mi'kmaq people. It is important to acknowledge this even more so today, as violence has erupted against the Mi'kmaq fishers in Digby, Nova Scotia. We must keep our hearts and minds open to ensure peace. Rejigged is dedicated to providing space that is accessible, inclusive and free from oppression, harassment and discrimination. At our gatherings, even online, we will treat each other with respect and dignity, regardless of age, race, gender expression, gender identity, sexual orientation, levels of ability and all other diverse identities. Jen Butterworth is one of the most notable folk guitarists in the UK acoustic music scene. She currently holds the title Musician of the Year from the Scots Trad Music Awards and was nominated for the same title in the BBC Radio 2 Folk Awards. Based in Glasgow, Scotland, she is a linchpin of the vibrant and thriving Scottish folk scene, performing regularly with a wide range of artists, including her own projects, Jen Butterworth and Laura Beth Salter, Canaris Quintet, and experimental folk jam group, The Blas Collective. Tonight will be an intimate evening of music set in Jen's own flat in Glasgow. Once you have delighted in her performance, learn more about her at rejiggedfestival.com or at jenbutterworth.co.uk or find her on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter or her own YouTube channel. She is in the midst of creating her own album and has a Patreon page to support her projects. Without the help of our sponsors, we would not have been able to stage this online event. Thank you to the Government of Ireland, Canadian Heritage, Uncumin, the Irish Association of Nova Scotia, the Halifax Regional Municipality, Propeller Brewing Company, Polymer Shapes, CBCL, Gillison Company, Timber Frames, and Accountant Staffing. We want to specifically thank the Charitable Irish Society of Halifax for sponsoring all the online main stage concerts. They have been one of our longest and steadfast supporters that without their help, we could not have brought you these free online performances. We invite you to go to rejigfestival.com to visit our sponsor page and the entire website to learn more about our festival. But now, please sit back turn up the volume and enjoy the musical stylings of Scotland's Jen Butterworth. Hi, I am Jen Butterworth. I am a guitarist and singer based in Glasgow in Scotland. And I am absolutely delighted to welcome you to this gig that I'm putting on from my, my wee room here in my flat. Um, thanks so much for coming along. It's um, it's been really lovely to to put this music together for you, and uh, I'm really grateful to um, the Rejig Festival for asking me to do this. Uh, I have a mixture of some songs and some tunes for you today, and I'm going to start off with uh, a song written by Sandy Denny, who is a was an incredible um, singer and songwriter from England. Um, famous for singing with the Fairport Convention and actually in the street that I'm on in Glasgow right now which is Rupert Street um, she recorded an album pretty much just down the street from here in, in a flat so I thought that this would be quite a nice connection so this is a song called All Our Days <laughs> So 
search for everything Keeping what we would win Our kids are tiny flowers Wooden huts or ivory towers Centuries or hours Dark are the winter days Holy in many ways Falls of time unshaken Was through them we are taken Sleep in forest way Smell on the lake, birds begin in May, in the way back home. The frost. Goes. East winds and winter snows The sun upon the daffodils Dancing on the verdant hills Lambs in the fields Warmer grows the morning sun How slowly the colors change We feel the drops of rain Miss of evening rise again We barely stroll the shadowed lanes As the autumn night draws in Next up, I have a tune that I wrote quite recently um, called Jessie's Tune, and I've written it for the brand new daughter, the brand new baby daughter of um, of good friends of mine, uh, Fiona McCaskill 
and Ali Hutton, both of whom I play with in various bands as well. Um, so, yeah, the first tune, um, Jesse's tune, uh, and then a couple of faster tunes. One is Leslie's March, and the last one is a tune by a good eight accordion player uh, called Ian Lothian, and that tune's called Ages. So, hope you enjoy. This next song I found in a collection of songs um, that were women's stories 
Um, I can't remember the name of the book, actually. It's up on my bookshelf here somewhere. But um, it was um, gathered. Sandra Kerr had um, quite a lot to do with the gathering of the the collection. I think it's called This Song Is My Own. Um, And I was looking, I was really keen to research songs that had stories about women. Um, It's quite hard to find stories in traditional music that necessarily have kind of strong women like positive strong women characters um so i guess i've been interested in sort of any stories that that have um women and as a main character that aren't just um sort of like romantic songs or you know talking about pretty little girls and i i discovered this song in the book and i just thought it was it was wonderful and there's so much um it created such an image in my head when I was reading the words. It's called The Housewife's Lament and it's a poem, I believe, that was found in the... Well, I think the story was that it was found in a, in a drawer somewhere, but I think it was published around 1871 and written by a lady called uh, Eliza Sprout Turner. Um, and it's about uh, somebody who's passing by and hearing um, a housewife outside of her house just talking about the sort of trials and tribulations of being in her life and and living her life Um, and it's got an incredible chorus that goes uh, life is a toil and love is a trouble beauty will fade and the riches will flee wages will dwindle and prices will double and nothing is as I would wish it to be I just feel that um, there's quite a lot of relevant stuff in there that hasn't really changed over the years, considering how old, old the the poem is. And I love there's things in it like um, there's too much there's too much worriment goes into a bonnet, <laughs> and too much ironing goes into a shirt, and um, just the the whole idea about the you know no matter how much you try and clean your house, it always gets dirty again. <laughs> so this this is the housewife's lament. into a shirt There's nothing that pays for the time you waste on it There's nothing that lasts us but trouble and dirt Oh, life is a toil and love's a trouble Beauty will fade and the riches will flee Wages will dwindle and prices will double Nothing is as I'd wish it to be In March it is mud, it is slush in December The midsummer breezes are loaded with dust in September, the wallpaper rots and the candlesticks rust. There are worms in the cherries and slugs on the roses, and ants in the sugar and mice on the pies. The rubbish of spiders no mortal supposes, and ravaging 
roaches and damage in flies. Oh, life is a toil and love is a trouble. Beauty will fade and the riches will flee. Wages will dwindle and prices will double. Nothing is as I'd wish it to be. Seven, as victuals at eight, and its dishes at nine, is potting and panning from ten to eleven. We scarce break our fast till we plan how to dine with grease and with grime from corner to center. Forever at war and forever alert. No rest for a day lest the enemy enter. I spend my whole life in the struggle with dirt. Last night in my dreams, I was stationed forever on a far distant road. In the midst of the sea My one task in life Was a ceaseless endeavour To brush off the waves As they swept over me Alas, was no dream Ahead I behold it I see I am helpless My fate to avert She lay down a broom, her apron she folded. She lay down and died, and was buried in dirt. This next tune is by a totally fantastic guitar player called Sean O'Graham and uh, it's one of my favourite tunes, it's called Valhalla and it's it made its way to me through a few different people um, so I believe that Sean O'G taught it to Kevin Henderson who's a great fiddle player from Shetland um, who in turn taught it to my kind of partner in crime um, amazing mandolinist and singer Laura Beth Salter and she taught it to me uh, and it's been doing the rounds now. I think it's one of these um, these tunes that just it just catches people's attention, and it's just such a fun tune to play and so euphoric. So everyone's been playing this recently. Um, yeah, this is Valhalla. <laughs> Thank you. 
This next song is another one that's come from my um, my research into um, stories, women's stories. And uh, this song is called Hard is a Fortune of All Womankind. And I was hunting, yet again, I was hunting through books and the title just <laughs> completely sprung out to me. Um, and I just think it's a beautiful song. Um, it's also known as the, the Wagoner's Lad as well. So here we go. Of all womankind 
She's always control. She's always confined. Controlled by her parents until she's a wife and a slave to her husband. The rest of Uh, this next song is um, is a great song written by a friend of mine, Finlay Napier, who also lives in Glasgow, just over in the south side. Uh, and he's a brilliant singer-songwriter. Um, we've been sort of around the Glasgow scene for a number of years. And he wrote this song, this next one, about the time in Glasgow where all the musicians used to go out on these crazy benders. Um We'd, we used to go, we called it Sunday Fun Day and we'd start, there was a session that started before our one at like two in the afternoon and then we'd start our session at 5.31 on the dot um, and you could play music pretty much from two o'clock in the afternoon until three in the morning. Um, there was like multiple sessions and eventually everybody would end up in this bar in Glasgow called Bar Block, um, where actually I, I now, hopefully, when everything returns to some semblance of normality, have a residency. Um, and uh, so it, it would be folk musicians, um, pop and indie and rock, and the jazz musicians as well, just a whole melting pot of people. And we'd all turn up and sing drunken 80s pop songs at goodness knows what time in the morning after goodness knows how many shots of tequila. And, um, and just this idea, at the end of the night, and maybe not so much on the block nights because it was usually quite late by the time we got out but this whole um you know the eyes all going around looking at you know where the party where's the after party going to be where's everyone going to end up and um just just that whole kind of closing time in a in a bar in a particular era i guess so uh, it's a it's a brilliant song and it's called after the last bell rings this song has a chorus, if you feel like joining in from home. Um, the words are, let it ring, oh let it ring, let it ring, oh let it ring, after the last bell rings. And that goes in. Let it ring, oh let it ring, let it ring, oh let it ring, after free to join in.
after the last bell rings Darling, put your hand in mine Both of us are lost Who knows what we'll find Our pockets may be empty All we got is time your hand in mine after the last bell So I've got one more set for you um, before I finish up this um, this wee gig. But uh, thanks so much for listening and for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the music. Um, if, if you have enjoyed it and you want to keep track of what I'm getting up to, then you can find me online. Um, I've got a website at Jen Butterworth with two N's, uh, .co.uk and I'm on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. So do do give me a follow. Um, I play a lot of music for other people as, as an accompanist and I don't necessarily have quite as much of my own out there, but I have plans to do that. So if you're interested, then please do give me a follow. Thanks again to the Rejigged Festival and to Caroline for asking me to do this. It's been really lovely. Um, and yeah, yeah, I hope this sends you on your way. Um, I'm going to finish with a, a set of guitar tunes and the the first tune doesn't have a name. I I wrote it on a ferry in Norway. <laughs> um, just I, I was um, setting myself a challenge when I was on tour of um, of trying to be more creative in between the times when I was playing, <laughs> and uh, and I I challenged myself to try and write a tune a tune a day at least, and this is one of those tunes. So no name just yet, but random Norwegian ferry tune, and then the tune afterwards. Um, I've written it's called it's called Strummers are a hundred thousand pounds a penny and it's after an interesting encounter that I had with a, um a person on YouTube who left me a comment on one of my um my videos to say that uh, they weren't really a fan of strumming and that if I could just learn how to finger pick nicely that that would be much better. <laughs> And essentially that strummers were um, were £100,000 a penny, which I don't necessarily agree with, but I think it's a good tune title. <laughs> so here you go. I hope you enjoy and thanks very much again. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, this has been a wonderful way to spend time with you all. Thank you for watching and supporting Rejigged Online Festival. Just a reminder, as a way to support all that we do at the festival and to continue to bring in such stellar performers, we would appreciate you visiting rejiggedfestival.com and clicking on the donate button. Also, pick up our 2020 Rejig t-shirts to show your festival pride. Thank you to Jen Butterworth for sharing her amazing talent with us this evening. It felt like we were sitting on her couch enjoying her masterful performance. Be sure to check out her website or any other of her social media sites. We hope to see a new album announcement coming soon. If you have joined us for all the online concerts or participated in any of the music or dance workshops, we at Rejigged Festival want to thank you for continuing to support live music and our small but mighty festival. We hope to see you live next year, but are happy that we found a way to stay in touch with our Rejig community and to new friends over the cyberspace. Finally, we want to thank again all our sponsors, the Government of Ireland, Canadian Heritage, Uncumin, the Irish Association of Nova Scotia, the Halifax Regional Municipality, Propeller Brewing Company, Polymer Shapes, CBCL, Gillison Company, Timber Frames, and Accountant Staffing. We would like to thank the Charitable Irish Society of Halifax for sponsoring all the main stage concerts. Without their support, our stage would have been silent this year. Thank you for supporting live music. Even in this virtual setting, it is so important. Until next time, my name is Patricia Murray, and I want to wish you a Good night.